Oh, B. B is... yes. <coughs> Sorry. Started to fade consciousness by two, by his two, so... I'll try for another hour, Completely but... unacceptable! No matter the circumstances! No promises. Even for the source, she's too strong! On the contrary, this is exactly what we should have expected. In fact, I dare say we should be proud. Care to explain why you seem so pleased with yourself? Something, something, data. Because she is the finest vessel I have ever created. Why wouldn't so I it's be still happy your to fault. have irrefutable Thanks, proof asshole. of that? She has nothing but disdain for us Dark Falls, and can even contend with our host. I must say, even I am impressed with my work. Oh, can it? Now's hardly the time for sitting around with our thumbs up our asses. We gotta come up with a plan here. <laughs> you really don't get it, do you? We've played our hand. To resist now would be futile. Let me give up. I told you earlier, didn't I? That thing is the profound darkness itself. It is the source of all of our power. Okay. No life form can succumb to its own poison. I believe that's, that's also what incorrect. It comes down to. So what now? Huh? Are we just Not completely true. useless I could be wrong. at this point? So what now? Hmm? Are we just completely done for at this point? Yep. Not exactly. Not as long as we are still with our host. Oh, so it's all on me. Had she taken our power for herself, the world would already be beyond salvation. That is to say, just by being here. We are in fact playing a non-trivial role. We still count for something. Say what you want, but I out. still think this is all your fault. <coughs> you made this monstrosity. Agreed. Though I don't dispute that I bear some blame, following the ultimate chain of cause and effect here is hardly meaningful now. If I could do things over again, I should like to avoid ever having met Xion. Had I not, Everything would be different. The photoners and arcs, of course, would never have come to be. What would be so bad about that? I was born before you met Xion, after all. Yeah? What's the problem? I would still be born as long as Florent exists. I wouldn't expect you to understand. You're just overthinking it. There's nothing we can do. <laughs> Thinking won't help. There's nothing we can do. Dark burning Photon things. energy exists in tandem with the Akashic Records. As long as there exists photon energy, so too shall the profound darkness. Yeah. If you really want to destroy it forever, the only option is to banish the profound darkness to a world without photons. A world with no Akashic Records? Where are we going to find some place like that? Wait, does not have one? Hmm. How should I know? Even the photoners of old never found such a realm. Well, I guess it does now. Whatever. I don't know. We'll see where that thread ends up. Alrighty. Hey, like, this is the bailout. That one's a photoner, the root of Ark's might. Thanks, that's an obvious. And she's the original profound darkness, the source from which the Dark Falls powers flow. Yes, we've established that. In other words, neither of those powers can even come close to touching her. I don't feel like this logic's not quite there. Therefore, but... to defeat her, we need something else entirely. A power whose source lies elsewhere. That is precisely why you and I are here. It was the Akashic Records' final wish. Xion's final wish. 
I thought you were going to elaborate on that, but okay. Whatever. Oh. Good. Oh. Gone floor. It seems you've taken quite the beating. A little bit. Oh. I had a few errands to run, but you seem to be facing some pressing concerns yourselves. We end up in Nightfall territory? Got our asses beat. Oh. No, I'll be all right. But we need to treat Sukunahime and Kotoshiro and fast. I'm glad to see you're all. That's an interesting camera error. I'm sorry I've been out of touch. Things have gotten, well, pretty far out of hand. The oh. Photoner's onslaught is underway. We've never dealt with anything quite like this before. Let us go They mean to crush us in one blow. Maybe we fucked around so soon after getting you back. Just saying. Okay, learn about Harukatan. Tamahime, should you really be here? Hmm. Why shouldn't I be? I forgot the Tamahime form had its own. With Harukatan in such disarray, Kotoshiro must be overwhelmed. Did you forget, Matoi? This is only a projection. I am still physically in Harukatan. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, is your physical body doing okay? And what about Kotoshiro? Everybody parachuted Hiroma. out at the last second. We've sustained some injuries, but nothing too grave. A spiro. It's safe for now at least. But if Shiva shows up there, things could take a swift turn for the worse. That sounds like foreshadowing. However, the troops ravaging the corporeal realm are but low ranking grunts, so we needn't be overly worried. Okay. Shiva's wrath is directed squarely at your people now. But if she switches her focus to Harukatan, we are surely doomed. That is why cooperating with you is my most prudent course of action. Do not worry about the people of Harukotan. For now, just focus on what you can do for your own. Right, you got it. It doesn't really imply much cooperation. That's just saying we good. Oh great, plans. These two. It's your friendly neighborhood informant, Patty, with a news for the news that you want to hear. A news for news? <laughs> More like a news that's always stuck in other people's business. Oh, hey, Tia here. I tried to look super energetic doing that intro, but I don't think it worked. Huh, you seemed like your usual annoying bubbly self, so I didn't notice. Cut me some slack, Tia. I'm running on empty here. And You're not the only one. Everyone's exhausted. For the plot. But the ops on the front lines have it a lot worse than us. We have Shiva and her squadron to blame for all of this. Fighting them off is really taking its toll. Well, thanks to everyone's efforts and the AIS firing on all cylinders, we're holding our own out there. Or, or exploding on all cylinders. They're powerful. <laughs> they keep on coming. It's like they suck up all of our photons so we can't even make a dent. There's got to be a juicy nugget of info out there that will tell us how to knock Shiva off her stupid throne. Even Can you find me another ceiling circle? Was, it'd be our job to search for it. Info that'll help us take out Shiva. Wait a second. 
Maybe. Just maybe. You're gonna bother yes! me? I've got the scoop of the century. Boom! The perfect strategy to take out Shiva. And that huh. would be? Whatever it is, it's news to me. I'm not expecting much, but let's hear it. Unless it's giant Expect cannon. Expect the world, sis. I've experienced this firsthand and confirmed that it works. Really? So you... you actually have something viable? What kind of strategy are we looking at? I like to call it the Supreme Tickle Tactic. No. Oh, you're such an idiot. I tried it on Aurora, since she's a photoner like Shiva, and it worked wonders! <sighs> so, genius, how do you plan on tickling Shiva? You need an AIS to get close Maybe it's enough. a metaphor. Boom! That's it! If we push forward with an AIS, we can get close enough to tickle her! I'll just have Ludmilla modify one. We'll give it lots of limbs like uh, a crab no, or something. Serious. This right. will be the ultimate arc's weapon! AIS Patty Custom. Now, answer me this. What do you suppose its primary feature will be? Crab flavor. Yes, that's right! Its resemblance to a crab is a crucial aspect of... Wait, that's just silly. Anyway, whole plan. it's a foolproof way to defeat Shiva. Now that we're in agreement, I have to ask Ludmila to get one modified right away. That's it's never keep her busy. gonna work. Ugh. I'm going to. If there's anything I can do as an Arcs informant, I'll do it. Hey, hey. Uh, wait up, you dummy! Okay. Red Haggith was still alive. Oh, it's you. Not the brother, still he was the piece? dickhead rich guy. I came here upon sensing a great. He was, wasn't presence. he the one who called the boat? Shiva, you called her. She's Where's the Yamato from the ocean? Could have imagined. That look in her eyes when she blocked my surprise attack. There was no human spirit in them. I couldn't even sense a will to fight. Good, then tell her to knock it off. We humans must be too trivial for her to regard with any sort of emotion. And yet, whether her heart is in it or not, her strength is too overwhelming for us. Can you imagine what sort of havoc she would wreak if she did have the will to fight? I don't want to think Just about once, that. I'd like to see it. To confront her with her true spirit on display. If you're gonna be part of the finale montage. Look at her hand textures. Those gloves are almost literally just we we colored the hand. And it never wanted to hear from this again either, but whatever. Lay it on me, Haggith. I mean if you wanna bring the Yamato out as a space battleship for this, by all means. But otherwise. Oh, thank you. My masterpiece, the Emerald Tablet, has yeah, yeah, he was the guy who made was my on wildest him. fantasies a reality. Yeah. Hardly any time has passed since it left my control, yet it seemed so long ago. In a few years, I, actually. Agito Ani, renowned hero of the modern world, have amassed great wealth and prestige thanks to my rare talents and genius mind. Okay. My company will only continue to grow as time marches on, propelling my name to even Why are you greater heights. Me to this game? And yet, it's all so pointless. My soul still longs for something more. He's going to join in all those Something in like the overwhelming rush of fulfillment I experienced when my masterpiece finally spread its wings. This time I will achieve something unimaginable. Or he'll just do something do stupid that it interrupts with my own two hands. his plan somehow. Alright. I know. Ah, 
I was trying to check up on Earth's status, but Haggith was all alone there, wasn't he? I could have sworn he was talking to someone. I hope he doesn't start causing trouble again. That doesn't sound like anyway, foreshadowing. Looks like Earth's doing just fine. I, I I I hadn't asked, but thanks, I guess, for the update. This a I, I thought we were done with this asshole too, but I guess not. Hope he does. Charlotte, you can stop now. I am fully aware of that intense love you have for me. 120% clear. So just calm down. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Charlotte, I need you to relax. You fully convinced me of your love. Go frolic with Katarina and the other. Ow! All of my darling babies. <laughs> Are all of this pet's name with letter C? I haven't quite picked up on whether or not that was the case. <sighs> Hello, Monami. What a rare treat to meet you here. Charlotte, calm down, you. Charlotte, oh, finish the job. So everything is fine. Do it. Do it now. There you go. Keep it up. I don't need to be here. I'm going to be... Holding as a witness, accomplice. Allow me the pleasure of introducing you to my darling Redoran, Monami. I call her Charlotte. She has a jealous streak. Redorans tend to be belligerent, as is Charlotte all the more so. She often gets into squabbles with my other darlings because of that. Her love for me is just too deep, I'm afraid. Okay. I must say, I'm completely entranced by her magnificent passion. Well then, entrance yourself over there. Go away. Charlotte, what's the matter, my dear? Don't glare at mon ami like that. Do it again. How dare you attack mon ami like that! My friend now, I guess. Get his ass. <laughs> I see. Are you envious of our intimate relationship? Get his ass, please. I'm terribly sorry about that, Monami. But the way you blocked her attacks was just a thing of beauty. That's enough, Charlotte. Come back to me. No, 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 no! Thank you. Keep up the good work. Um, Charlotte? You seem to be glaring at one of me again. There we go. Keep the good work. Yes, of course. Charlotte, you're trying to get stronger, all for my sake. But you don't need to push yourself, darling. I love you just the way you are. You're so faithful and... <laughs> <laughs> as passionate as ever, I see. <laughs> Finish the fight, Charlotte. Oh, yes, Charlotte. Hit me with everything you have. Maybe don't finish the fight because he's clearly the getting off on it. Of your love. I mean, I'm not trying to kink shame. I'm just really annoyed by this guy. I do not want him to derive any pleasure again in his life. Did that hit him right in the coop? Earned it. Alright. Main story time. Emergency announcement. We have confirmed the presence of a photoner fleet in the vicinity of the Oracle fleet. That's Auto cool. Ops, prepare to attack. Doop, 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 doop. Let's start with a quick debriefing. Thanks to Sakuna Hime's help, we were able to take down Mitra, one of the photoners. That's a significant win for us. Got her ass. Spare us the empty consolation, boy. We've been outfoxed. 
She wasn't our real target. Empty. Not quite. We've proved that if we can just seal their powers, we can defeat them. I suspect there's a correlation between us being in the know and Shiva's execution of this massive attack. When they attack by teleporting in, we can predict and detect it. They're trying to overwhelm us before we can get our defenses up. Honestly, we're not really in a position to put up a fight. We're deploying more advanced AIS units, so we should be able to hold our ground. But if Shiva herself shows up, there's not much we can do. Julie's okay. buying us some time by leading Ark's forces in a tactical retreat. But who knows how long they'll hold. Till the end of the Good episode. Would that I could offer our help. But with its seal broken, we're stretched thin just keeping Magatsu from breaking loose. As it is, Ark's is assisting us. Oh, Magatsu's still around, around too. That's good to know. What a pitiful what a state of affairs. Uh, Tanihime. You should focus on treating your own wounds first and foremost, Sukunahime. Understood. Send word at the first sign of movement. Apologies for the delay, but I do believe greetings are in order. Pleased to meet you, Feilig. There's no need for. Oh yeah, she never came on the ship like unlike your kids and everything. The peril arcs face the first other, uh, Game players. Uh, Shiva, WNMPs. you mean? She made facing you all look like child's Ugh. play. She even adapted to my attacks instantly, might I add. Okay. She strikes with overwhelming force and gives herself space to read the situation carefully. Overcoming that will take some creative thinking, which is precisely what will make it such an absolute thrill. Um, Felix? Exactly, did you come here? Does the rest of the Earth crew suck? First, to find the source of an incredible aura I sensed. Second, to find the source of the ominous atmosphere I felt snaking its tendrils over Earth. And lo and behold, I believe I have indeed encountered a two birds with one stone scenario in the flesh. Uh -oh. We're getting an emergency transmission from Earth! It's Enga! Oh, I don't even Coming like that guy. Sierra. Guardian, Hang up, Sierra, Laura. wish we could chat under less pressing circumstances. Talk I know you faster. got your own crap to deal with, but we got a crisis brewing here. Monsters are attacking us, and they're not phantasms. They attack them back. Are those photoner forces? What are they doing on Earth? This Shiva entity sent them, most likely. Or rather, has been sending them, aiming to crush every world at once. I will take my leave here and hurry back. Handling this alone seems a bit beyond them. Ophiel. Well, things are bad here. But we can't just sit back and let Earth suffer. Eh. You're the most knowledgeable one here when it comes to Earth. Oh, Christ. Mind checking to see how things stand and report back? Are we gonna burn a whole chapter or is it just a sub chapter? <coughs> Send me there. Nope! Chapter time. Nothing but Earth shit. Still feels like moving pretty fast chapter to chapter overall, though. So I shouldn't complain too much. Got you. Good grief! To think this had to happen. Right as I was confused we for a second. I forgot to you guys. The, uh, the rappy uh, summon. Just when we were finally getting to see each other again. Go! You go! This is it! Apologies, Rena. We didn't mean to drag you into it. And that's all water under the bridge now. Especially now. We've got company! 
Understood. But at least we made it in time. With the strongest reinforcements available. Wait. Is that you? When is it not me? Your aid's appreciated. <laughs> Maybe we could just run past those, but whatever. Ah, there we are. Not sure if they're spawning more on a timer based on my kill count. Get a whole bunch of other factors. That's the wall, so. Let's see. I feel like a Varuna fight's in order since we cut off meat. We were struggling quite a bit, but you managed to make quick work of them. We should be able to push them back. Okay. Uh... Don't go off on your own. <laughs> what? Problem. Not today. Uh, yeah! oh. <sighs> Sorry I took so long, Rena. Oh, he was the other NBC. It's okay. I've never seen him in this form though, it's not what he wore in the uh, PSO2 world. <sighs> Try not to be too rash. I seem to remember someone telling me that lone wolves don't make good arcs operatives. I know that. Thank you, and you too. I do. The wax more, I guess. Has everyone uh. been evacuated, Itsuki? You bet. Everyone's safe and sound, which is why I'm here to help. Are you with me? Appreciate you dropping in. There we go. But could Let's you do us one more and math wife. The math nerd and I are holding down the city area, but there's a slow Where's Hammer Dad? headed for the school. Go stop them. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We can handle this area. Itsuki is correct. Thanks to you, we now know the best way to fight them. All right. Um, I guess I'm gonna go People find the cannon safe, lesbians. Right? Go on. Don't leave them waiting! The good guy canon lesbians, not the formerly evil canon lesbians. Well, one was evil briefly, but anyway. With you know that said, doing. listen, you two. This foe is quite the handful. Sword, the sword lesbians as opposed to, to... Now is our last chance. I think we're well past that Math point, and English le lesbians. We've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dark Falls together. 
Remember? Rena is right. We can't just stick our heads in the sand when there's something we can do to help. Let's go. Planet Earth, no. Our home is counting on us. I do appreciate a sword cut through a ship. Every time, every time. Wild Zero still did it the best, but Guitar, for, uh, Guitar Wolf could do it all uh, wrong, so. Yo, Math Nerd, that way. Watch who you're calling a nerd. Lapless, Maxwell. Get back from the United States, and this is what is waiting for you? I'm too That's what you get for going to the United States. Just bad times. It looks like Full and Aerotron have things under control. You should head to school. Nah, I asked the Guardian to take care of things there, so I doubt there'd be any scraps left for us now. And besides, these assholes seem like they still haven't had enough. I swear, everyone just wants 100% of a piece of our pie. Deep, deep. There they are. Sword lesbians in effect. Mention it. Well, not yet, anyway. This isn't over. <laughs> well, like it or not, we need to be the defenders here. Otherwise, we'd be letting our god down. Yes, you're right. I don't remember who that god is, but look. Okay. I think it's whatever imbued that. That just looks so weird against the static JPEG of the moon. They wanted it to look so badass that it's like. You're here! What a relief! Wow. Dora? Right? Yes. Thank you. Hitsugi! Cory! Sorry to interrupt the reunion, but we'll have to save the sentiments for later! Right. Lend us a hand, won't you? Maybe rich guy McDouchebag will actually like show up to help. That was flying by his ramble. Emergency op announcement. We're deploying a counteroffensive against the Protoner fleet. All up, please join the operation. Not to get okay, I, I never realized during the uh, the ship battle or events I did that the, those guys generated more than just a little more time. Oh, it's a week of lightning, yeah, absolutely. Got his uh. Completed. Well, that was fun. We didn't get a good look at Veldophorus or whatever. on the situation from failing. Allow me to help eradicate these invaders. 
Agath? Piss off, old timer. We're busy. Just Why is your delivery so quiet around. right now? Let's Seems a little inappropriate. This changes your tune. Off you go, my emerald tablet number two. Give it all you've got. Fuck yeah, I'll take the Yamato That's just... Or I guess, if it's the number two, maybe it's the Yamato sister show? Hey, really I used to remember the name of, but I forgot. It's Regardless. I don't know what it's the Yamato I don't know what to expect. Am I wrong Space in remembering boat. this guy's avatar arms were out of control? Wait, he just treated the first one as a prequel and went ahead and made a new one? People who really believe they're capable of anything can sometimes be mind-blowingly strong. Sounds like someone's trying to cover her ass. Can it? Made and secondary awkward. batteries. Take aim. Awkward they read, not Fire! awkward bike. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm actually kind of glad to see a motto okay. What's work for me to do? When are they going to throw Varuna at me? This, this makes absolutely no sense, but in a fight like this, having this much firepower is... I feel like it's a retroactive response to just chapter 4, or episode 4 in general. Take care of whatever pressing matters are at hand. I imagine it is something not here on this world. Felix right. We'll take care of things here. There's gotta be something out there making these guys come knocking at our door, right? Consider your job shutting that down. It probably doesn't sound convincing coming from the ones whose asses you just had to save, but we got this. And don't forget. We got someone on our side capable of beating the crap out of God. How are we supposed to face him if we lose to this gang of slumbering trash? Hey, are you so quiet? Right. Don't worry. We'll take care of Earth. Okay. We might not handle it as smoothly as you, but we'll come together and do our best. You do the same. Oh. Alright, let's try this again. I would like to try and at least clear the Earth stuff. Again, it, it's probably going to end in a Varuna fight before they set up for the final big put. We get that far, get off Earth, and then I can. Uh, of what's happening on Earth now. Seems we don't have the luxury. Come back and wrap this up later this but week. Unless we take out Shiva, everything will be for naught. There's just one task we need to focus on. Sealing Shiva's powers and defeating her. Even so, that's easier said than done. She must know what we're doing for the most part. There's no way we could lure her into a trap, is there? Her powers Throw the trap into her face! So if we know what she's doing, I'm sure we're an open book to her too. Is there a way we could concoct a strategy that would work? Even if she knew what we were doing? I'm making a big trap. Hmm. It might work if we could set a trap as wide as all of space. But... Uh, it took a long time just to prepare that localized single planet barrier when we were getting Matoy back. <sighs> I can't you mean sending me to murder her. To set up a trap we got her back itself. in the end because I chose... Not to follow orders, but okay. Well, you're just gonna sweep that under the rug, all right? As big as space itself? Hmm. What if space itself happened to be the trap? Maybe if we did this or that, huh? Hmm. Think back, you two. 
We do have a way of manipulating the entirety of space, don't we? Sure. Huh? What you did on Omega influenced the Akashic Records. So we're just gonna go back to Omega? And changes in the records are they really gonna drag Omega all back into all this too? So we could use Omega to set up a barrier as wide as the universe. Meaning... What? However powerful Shiva might be, she wouldn't have anywhere to run. Not following Sierra, them. call Risa, quickly. If we're going to mess with Omega, We'll need help from Harriet. Roger! Don't tell me we're going back In the there. meantime, I have to calculate our chances along with what kinds of effects may arise. Alma, would you lend me a hand? Sure! Two even! What should we do, Xiao? You two? Let's see. Why not start with a medical checkup? Every time. Although the delivery wasn't as uh, potent. Maybe we'll just wrap it there since the solid chapter end. Unless there's a bunch of side stuff we can get out of the way. Alright, before heading to Omega, let's get our checkup. Probably technically roll over to chapter 5, but seems innocent enough. Or they'll discover some other new stuff and that'll pop up in a couple more <sighs> chapters. What did we do to deserve this? This isn't some kind of punishment, Matoy. It's a perfectly normal procedure. What I'm wondering is, how could you run all around like that with such extensive injuries? I'm... I'm sorry. Hey, you got all these you potions we can jam into us. It's your fine. Heal, it's fine. Stay far away from conflicts of any Doubling kind. Doubling mates down your throat like it's nothing. And you! What were you thinking? Running off to Earth before the dust from the battle even settled. Plot told yes, me to. Yes, yes, I know full well how urgent it was. But as your caretaker, I have every right to complain. Okay. Listen carefully, Guardians. If you get injured, you report to me right away. Do I make myself clear? Whatever. Well, well, well! Sounds like someone got quite the scolding! <laughs> Why not think of this as just taking a hard-earned rest, Matoy? Oh, Risa! I didn't know you'd come back! We are going back to freaking fantasy Let planet. me tell you, I, I, I figured it would happen, but it's just been so soon since we wrapped up there. I didn't want to go back. Risa came back from the battlefield at my request. I suppose I ought to be present if we're getting Omega involved. Oh, is that you, Harriet? After all this time, it still shocks me to hear you in there. You pointed out the color coding and the voice coding. Indeed. I'm sure this would be easier to swallow if Risa spoke a bit less eccentrically. But here we are. Well now, well now! How dare you! There's nothing odd about how I speak! It's perfectly normal! For me. <clears throat> there you have it! <laughs> uh, anyway, moving on. Can you head to the bridge? If we're headed for Omega, we need Alma's help. Okay. Alright, well, if we're heading to Omega, we're doing it next week. Well, not next week, but next session. Yeah, actually, take the flight, at least. As soon as it looks like it's going to be a combat mission or surface mission, though, I'm definitely... Oh, but I'm, I'm just trying to get stuff done. According to my calculations... Deploying the barrier through Omega has a high probability of success. So, will you do it? Or whatever. As a former denizen, I will accompany you. Allow me to take the lead. 
<laughs> Look out, Omega! Here I come! Oh yeah, they kept it mostly. Though all the missions there are under wraps, so I was the only one there. Um, that's all well part. and good, Harriet. But can Risa even go? Her bond with me will let her. As a divine being of Omega, I imagine I could simply go on my own. But I'm really looking forward to seeing what kind of fight the baddies on Omega put up. I'm thrilled. Still, like she knew she was able to detect something was up because Harriet wasn't awake, but. So it is, Harry I cannot was simply dismiss my host's wishes. Very well. She will serve as my guard. Okay. I certainly hope she won't need to do any guarding. Oh, Inevitably well, will. I guess I'll go too. Sorry, Second. You'll be here helping me send them over to Omega. Huh? Under the circumstances, we can't risk having both Guardians away at once. Really gotta find more Besides, than two guardians. I feel I believe like you were ordered to get some rest. Eggs, basket. I understand. Okay, oh, sorry. Alright. Sorry right before you know it. I understand. But... Be careful over there. I never am. Sira, can you go to Omega as a guide? Well, things have been changing pretty Let's rapidly. get a little more use out of that fairy model. We paid for it. Will I even be able to play navigator for them? That's <sighs> alright. Omega remains largely the same as the world the Guardians knew. Since I am a being of Omega, my presence here in this world has synchronized the flow of time between the two. In that case, my concern has more to do with the fact that you're asking me to go back to Are we gonna run into Top Hat Omega Douche again, too? Oh, let's... Now I'm sure Margareta has things well under control. Uh, most likely. All right, yeah, we'll cut it there. So Omega next time. Party can. Oh, still in departure preparations. If we're hanging out with, uh... I forgot. Not Tamahime, because that's the little version. The Kunahime. Sorry, tired and forgetful. I'm gonna check real quick. <coughs> How many episodes total there are? Or chapters in the episode there are. Two episodes. There are eight, including the epilogue. So. It's literally just go to Omega and then. Ending and then the epilogue. Then we're done the forever. At least with this one. Okay, so yeah, we can probably get those done in the next session. Knowing my luck, all the denouement and everything is gonna be like. Bro, they're gonna drag out that last chapter. All right, let's see what kind of fun goodies we got. He is the confirm button. I already have all the achievements. I mean, both. They didn't really add that much new. Patch the anima thread sounds like something important that we'll deal with later.